Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Stacy Chedister with Oxford Health and Wellness Center. From time to time, a patient comes into our clinic that have been told that they need surgery for their scoliosis. In the medical community, the need for surgery is based on the severity of the curve of the scoliosis. The curve is measured on x-rays using what's called the Cobb's angle, named after an American orthopedic surgeon, John Robert Cobb. The Cobb angle shows the degree of severity between zero degrees up to however severe the angle is. If the degree of severity of the angle is between zero and 20 degrees, the medical prescription is to watch and wait, to not do anything now, but to see how it develops over time. That's not a good approach in my opinion. I would want to be proactive and try to change the condition but that's the medical approach. If the curve is between 20 and 40 degrees, the approach is bracing. There are different types of scoliosis bracing available. Fortunately, they've gotten much better. In the past, they used to use something called a Milwaukee's brace. It was a very hard plastic, a very uncomfortable, and because it's usually teenagers wearing this brace, it could also be quite embarrassing. For everything above 40 degrees, the medical community would recommend surgery. Surgery for scoliosis usually involves putting rods in the spine all the way from the bottom to the top and fusing those areas of the spine together. They want to straighten the spine. There's a fear that the scoliosis would worsen to the point of pushing on organs or on other areas that could cause problems for the patient and accelerate the degeneration. In our clinic, we treat a lot of patients with scoliosis. Our approach is slightly different than the medical community. We're going to look at the scoliosis early on. If it's less than 20 degrees, we wanna be able to be proactive and keep it from getting worse, and it can get worse at any time. We've seen patients at age 70 to 80 who didn't get any care and their scoliosis had gotten worse and the arthritis has gotten worse as well. You have to be proactive with it. Besides bracing it, we wanna make sure we're prescribing specific exercises and protocols to help reverse the symptoms and reverse the increased misalignments of the spine. There are things that can be done to correct the alignment of the spine using specific protocols. There are several protocols available. The Pedibon protocol, spinal decompression treatment, and a few others that can help minimize the curvature. Not every responds in the same way, but it's definitely a better option than having surgery and having metal rods put in the, your back for the rest of your life. If you found this useful, leave a comment. If you have scoliosis or if you've had surgery, let us know. We wanna help as many people as possible and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.